after some delicious breakfast malasadas over at the Punalu'u Bake Shop, V and I knew that we needed to burn some calories. So we headed on over to do the hike to the Papakaloa Green Sand Beach. As you pull into the parking lot, the trailhead will be on the right side and it starts on a worn out paved road. As the paved road curves around to the right, keep a lookout on the left hand side for a two lane dirt road that heads down to the water. As you reach the water, make a left and you are going to be on these roads all the way out to the green sand beach. Be sure to watch your step. There are a lot of areas on this trail that have rocks that are just high enough to trip you up. Also, be sure to bring plenty of water. This trail is five and a half miles and is completely exposed. It was pretty toasty on the day when we went. Around three quarters of a mile in, the trail splits into what looks like a hundred little miniature trails. Don't worry because we believe that they all go the same direction and will all take you to the green sand beach. You are also going to come across several different types of terrain, everything from hard rocks to silt beds like you can see here. I hope you don't bring your favorite pretty shoes because uh, they're going to get stained. One great thing about this hike is that you will be treated to a gorgeous coastline almost the entire time. After about two and a quarter miles, you'll start to see a large black sea cliff starting to appear on the horizon. This is the rock formation that towers over the green sand beach. V spotted a little trail that ran up on top of that sea cliff, so we decided to head up there first before we head down to the beach. Not only will you get an awesome view of the green sand beach from here, but you'll get to check out this really cool rocky peninsula that jets out into the ocean. It's gorgeous. At first, we weren't exactly sure if you could climb down to the water from here, but after we took a quick look at it, we decided that we were gonna go for it. I will say though, if you're a clumsy person or you just have really bad balance, I probably wouldn't recommend going down here. We definitely don't want to see anyone fall and injure themselves. After scrambling our way back up to the top of the hill, it was finally time to go down to the green sand beach. These stairs are quite steep, but they are definitely manageable. Now you may be wondering, why is the sand here green? And the answer might surprise you. It's actually because of the Mauna Loa volcano that erupted here 49,000 years ago. The lava that the volcano spewed out into the ocean was rich in a green crystal-like mineral called olivine. Over time, the tides of the ocean have washed all of the olivine back into the bay, covering the sand. And the green sand beach was born. After a short bit of relaxation and building the coolest green sand castle that you've ever seen, V and I hit the trail and headed back to the car. V and I both agree that this is definitely worth checking out if you're on the Big Island. It's a really pretty hike, and it was just really cool knowing that we saw one of the only green sand beaches in the world. Be sure to follow us for more adventures, and check us out at thatadventurelife.com.